So once again, we're going to be preparing our print for uh, cutting. And there's a number of ways to do this. I'm going to try to go over all of them. So let's say first off that you have your, your print here. Now it should already be on your artboard. My artboard is right here. Your artboard might look like this right now. If it does, make sure that your object has been expanded. If you have not done that already, make sure you click expand appearance or expand. Um, and if you have not, if you've already done that, you're fine. And then I'm going to get my object just a little bit smaller than the edges of my artboard. And I'm going to bring the top of my artboard down to here. So you've already probably done that last step, but hopefully uh, you could now just make sure it all fits inside. It's okay if it's a little bit smaller. In fact, you want that. All right, so now how do I set my cut marks? Well, there's a number of ways to do this. Let's say you want this to have cut marks all around the edges. Well, then you would make your cut marks your stroke color. Let's say you wanted your cuts to be like a sphere around it. You could create a, you could just like create a circle. Like, where is my circle? Hang on. Huh. I don't know where my circle thing is. My ellipse. Did anybody see it? Oh, there it is. So I could create a ellipse around it. And again, make this my cut color. Don't worry about what the cut color is right now, but you will understand what I'm talking about in just a second. So that can be your cut right there. Or maybe you want your cuts to be the actual letters. So your cuts are going to look like this. That could be possible too. So depending on which one of those you are, uh, you there's a number of steps that you need to do to get there if you have a more complex shape. So if you have this one, for example, well, if you have a more complex shape, let's just say this, just come get me because it's going to be too hard for me to explain to everyone. Um, but you do need to do the following. You need to make sure that the outline, the stroke color, is this special shade of pink. You're going to find that if you go into your library for your swatches and you go to uh, other library, you're going to navigate to under this PC, the W drive, which is period two for you guys. Spot color library, illustrator, and you need this Roland VersaWorks one. And then open. Now, if I wanted each of these little shapes cut out, I would then set that as my stroke for this uh, object. So I can go up here and choose that pink. That's very thick. And you're gonna, you don't want it that thick when it cuts. So you're probably gonna want to come in and uh, set your stroke thickness to like maybe half an inch. So this is what it's gonna look like when it's done. It's gonna cut out on those pink lines uh, exactly that. On this one, I would just, I could just change the stroke to that color, set it to half an inch, and I'm good. That's gonna be my shape. But let's say that you wanted this thing to have a black stroke like this. Uh, let's try that again. Let's say you wanted it to have a, a thick black stroke. Well, then how am I going to do it now? Well, in this case, you could create another rectangle on top of it if you wanted to, just like that. And then make that your pink stroke with no fill at half an inch. That would work. And you can see if you look carefully, that's what it's going to look like when it's done. So whatever the case may be for you, set your cut marks. And if you have a more complex shape, just call me over and uh, I can help you with that. Everything should look like this now. You should be in your artboard. The artboard is, this, is the, already the width that you want it or the height that you want it. Um, you should give yourself a little bit of room around the edges. You don't need quite this much, but make sure you have some. You got to make sure that you've, uh, well, no, I guess, I guess you don't have to do that. Never mind. Okay. So now you do a file save as again, not an export, but a save as, and a lot of students forget this next step. Once you change it to EPS, you have to click use artboards. 
Otherwise, I'll get everything on here and, and I won't know what to do with it. I then want you to change to add a word at the end here. I want you to either put shirt or sticker so that I know whether you want this to be printed on a shirt or a sticker. Again, make sure use artboards is checked and then put it in your documents, I guess. Save it. And then just say yes to all these things. Then go on to Classroom. Under the Personal Logo Projects, I just want you to attach this file. Let's see if we can get it. 